High cell. Turn on the light. High cell. Turn off the light. Hi, this is Dr. Ben Fenio with Science Buddies, and in this video, I will show you how to set up voice control using the Grove Speech Recognizer for Arduino. Let's start by taking a look at the Speech Recognizer unit. It has an onboard microphone, a connector for the cable to go to your Arduino, and an additional connector for an optional external speaker. There is a shield you can use to connect this to the Arduino, but you can also just use the included cable and jumper wires by pressing the pins of the jumper wires into the end of the cable like this. There are four wires, black, red, yellow, and white. The black wire goes to the Arduino's ground. The red wire goes to five volts. The yellow wire goes to pin two, and the white wire goes to pin three. Once you have that connected, let's switch over to the computer to look at the software setup. First, head over to the Seed Studio wiki page. You can find the link to this in the description of this video. Scroll down until you see the example code, copy that code, and paste it into your Arduino IDE. Note that this code lists the preset commands that the Grove Speech Recognizer works with. It comes preloaded with these commands, but unlike some other speech recognition modules, you cannot train new ones. Once you have pasted the example program into the Arduino IDE, Make sure you have the correct Arduino board and COM port selected, then upload the program to your Arduino. Once the program has finished uploading, open the serial monitor. The Grove Speech Recognizer uses the wake word high cell, which you must speak before saying one of the commands. If it recognizes the wake word, as you can see, the red LED on the Speech Recognizer unit will light up. Once the red LED is lit up, Speak one of the command words, and the blue LED should light up, and it will print the recognized command to the serial monitor. Hi, cell. Go. Hi, cell. Stop. You can modify the example code to make the voice commands control hardware. Here I have the example code side by side with my slightly modified program where I have declared a variable for an LED pin. I am just going to use the Arduino's onboard LED with pin 13. And at the bottom here, inside the loop, I have had an if statement to use the digital write command to turn the LED on or off if the program recognizes the turn on the light or turn off the light commands. Now, when I speak the wake word followed by these commands, you should see the Arduino's onboard LED turn on and off. Hi, cell. Turn on the light. Hi, cell. Turn off the light. Now, it only works with a limited set of commands, so this is nowhere near as powerful as something like a cloud speech to text service from a company like Google or Amazon. However, this is still a very simple and quick way to add basic voice commands to your Arduino project. For instructions to build a voice controlled lamp like this one, hi, cell. Turn on the light. Hi, cell. Turn off the light. As well as instructions for a different voice control module that lets you train new voice commands, check out the links in the description of this video. For thousands of other fun, hands-on science and engineering projects, visit us online at www.sciencebuddies.org.